Have you ever wondered what makes bodies tick? Are you creating the sexual reality you desire and require? Would you like to know more about what else is possible with bodies? What if your fantasies are not as strange as you thought they were? What if you could learn to be kinder to your body and kinder to others' bodies? Would you like to create confidence in the bedroom and beyond? How has your sex life, or lack of it, affected other areas of your life? Have you lost your mojo and wondered where to find it? Everyone has the potency to be a sexual superhero. Get ready to listen, sense, and play with the sexualness that is you. Now, here is the host of The Pleasure Zone, Body Whisperer, Melitza Yelenich. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to The Pleasure Zone. I'm so glad you're all joining me on this call, listening in and listening in in the future. Um, for those of you who have been listening for the last few months or haven't been listening for the last few months, you might have noticed a variety of topics that have come up lately. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about a show that we're going to have next week, which is completely controversial. Um, and I feel like it's going to be one of those groundbreaking calls um, on the radio that we're going to have up next week. So I'm just giving you a heads up that we are going to be doing a call with Melanie Clampett. Um, and it's going to be touching on a lot of topics surrounding abortion and miscarriages and how you can create your life from a place of joy rather than from a place of uh, victimhood of any of that and the devastation and the trauma and the drama of all of that. Um, and, and I'm thrilled to be. She asked. I'm thrilled that she asked me to be part of it, um, to be part of her uh, introdu introducing this to everyone. Um, and she's like, it's a really controversial topic, and you came to mind. I'm like, I just love when people tell me that they have a controversial something they want to talk about, and I'm the girl to go to. How does it get any better than that? So I, I'm thrilled. And so that just came up, and so we'll be having that next week. And um, this week, I thought this is another little tr controversial topic. It actually came uh, kind of to me, this weekend I was hanging out with, um, I was actually at a family reunion of my lover's family. And um, one of the ladies I was talking to uh, listens to my show, so hi, Liz. And also she uh, follows me on Facebook and Twitter, and she was noticing some things, and she was um, asking me about some topics. And I was like, hey, that's brilliant. So she, she mentioned um, micro penises. We got into this topic about micro penises, um, and, of course, the rest of the family kind of ran away. Um, it was really funny as soon as we both said something about it, like we cleared the room like somebody had the worst fart of all time. I was like, wow, that's incredible. You can say micro penis and the whole room empties. So if you guys ever are in a situation where you think, oh, these people are driving me crazy. How do I get them out of my house? Just start talking about micro penises. Everybody will flee. It's like magic. So bro, just so you know, that's my new magic tool, how to clear a room, micropenis, micropenis, micropenis. So I thought, okay, I've actually never seen a micropenis, so I was curious. You know me, hear about something, got to investigate, which is so funny because so most of my life, research bored the poop out of me. Like I would rather poke my eyeballs out with a hot skewer than research anything, but that was usually for school. This stuff is fun and interesting and like fascinating. So then I'm like going, okay, well, really, does size matter? And so this is where the topic for today came out. Does size matter? And so for me, I work with a lot of bodies all the time. And one of the greatest pleasures for me is touching bodies. And sometimes bodies, when I touch them, do get turned on. Not always, but quite often. So the fun part for me um, is just being in allowance of bodies as they are having like orgasmic responses under my hands with my touch. And for me, it's such a compliment and such a gift that people would actually um, receive that from me and choose that from me. So um, it's it's so sweet. And there's such a kindness with bodies. And what I get around um, this topic of does size matter is there's so much judgment in people's worlds about size of breasts, size of penises, size of the badonkadonk. Like there's so many judgments about body parts and so many that I've had on my own body. So I started to investigate and I started to investigate different things. Like I wondered too whether 
uh, whether women had, you know, if men can have micro penises, like micro phallus, can there also be micro breasts or, and there can be, so it's called micromastia. And I'm just going to let my, oh, Christine, just so you know, you are not on mute, letting you know, darling. So now she knows. <laughs> and um, one of the things that uh, I, I did, know, I started doing this research, and all this research information comes down to that there is an average. And there's an average that goes on uh, for all medical studies. And some of the medical studies will tell you that there's, uh, you know, like, um, an average height, an average weight, an average this, an average that. So when it comes down to it, there's an average, and everything outside of that is completely significant. You're too short, you're too tall, you're too thin, you're too fat, you're too big boobed, you're too small boobed. You're like there is there is so many things that we place judgment on that's based on size, and size of your bank account too. Like, how many people judge that? So does size matter? And for so many people, we have made the size of so many things so unbelievably significant. And what if we just chose to see it in a different way? What if we just acknowledge the gift that our bodies be and the way that we've created them and acknowledge that we are actually the ones who chose these bodies? And what if we honored them? And what if part of that is to be really present with your body? And so what does that mean, right? Like, what does it mean to be present with your body? Have you ever just, uh, you know, gone through your day and then you lie down at, you know, like 2 a.m. in the morning and you kind of go, whoa, there's this Oh, density in my back. There's this funny thing in my leg. Like, what is this? Most people would go, my back hurts and my legs have cramps. And there's all this stuff that comes up for them. So, you know, and then there's, there's this, there's a disconnect. There's people just not willing to listen to their bodies and acknowledge their bodies. So being present with your body. Um, I actually heard something on a call about horses, which I found was completely relevant for sex. I know it's weird. Stallions, sex. I don't know. Anyway, it, it went together for me. Um, and um, it was actually a call by Susie Godsey, one of her classes that she did, um, who's actually a completely brilliant body worker and is having a class coming in September to Edmonton for horses and people. Um, just throwing it there because I think she's absolutely brilliant um, for anybody who is a body worker and interested in that stuff. But what she did say about horses was to be really present with them and people were not really understanding what is she talking about. And part of it is to acknowledge them, the gift that they be to you and the gift that you be to them and start to acknowledge them and be present. The more you can acknowledge the gifts that they be, the more present you can be with them. And I was like, there's so many places where we as people aren't even acknowledging each other and being grateful for each other and being grateful for our own bodies. It's such a gift when you can just be really grateful for the person that you're with and and be grateful for you when you're choosing and what you're choosing. So thank you. Like, thank you for choosing this. Thank you for choosing to listen. And thank you also for, you know, how about all of us? Just like thank our bodies, big, small, medium, large. Like, what if every part of your body is just such a gift to you and you could acknowledge it and you can you know, touch it and go, wow, look at that. You're so amazing. So the more we acknowledge things, and a lot of times things require acknowledgement before they can change. So sometimes like even a house acknowledge requires you to acknowledge that, um, you know, say thanks house for like looking after me for so many years, putting a roof over me, you know, giving me warmth. And sometimes houses just like require that. And sometimes people require that. I get that those things are a little off topic, but I'm just trying to like get you to get that it's not just bodies. Like we can be grateful for everything. We can be grateful for the trees that give us shade. And once, you know, when we're looking to change something, really acknowledging it is one of the first key steps. Uh, so for me, change for me would be to get out of judgment of my own body or even more than I am now. And, and even the last year, being on the show has 
given me so much awareness of bodies and given me so much awareness of um, how I can be a greater kindness to bodies, um, to the planet. And when I say bodies, it's not just human bodies. It's like animal bodies, too. There's so many bodies. We often um, kind of forget and we're like, yeah, yeah, I'll work on people. But actually, I love, enjoy working on other animals, too. Um, I have, you know, dogs literally walk up to me and will put their put my hand on their body where they require it and and I've had that like in the last few days repeatedly dogs are just walking up to me and slapping their bo- my hands on their body and they won't leave and I'm like all right then let's do some energy work let's do some body work and then when they're done you know and amazingly some of them will stick around for like 40 minutes which is to me, really unusual for an animal. They usually like five minutes and I'm done. But then again, I work on a lot of cats. So so one of um, the things is the gratitude, acknowledgement and gratitude for the being. Um, so body parts, like what if there is no wrongness in the size of your body parts? So when I start to investigate, like what is actually a micro penis? I was curious, and I actually thought I invented the word macro penis because I figured if there's a micro, there's a macro. Come to find out, there definitely is macro penises, and they're also called macro phallus, and there, it is a medical term. So the micro penis, there's only, there's a very few percentage of men on the planet that have. A micro penis, and if you are curious about what it looks like, I was completely curious. Um, I looked it up online, and right there on Wikipedia, there is a picture of a micro penis. So, um, some, you know, it looks kind of like a head of a penis with testicles. So, it's it's uh, just different, and I'd actually never seen one like live and in person, so I was really curious. And then I kind of got curious, like, what would it be like to re- like to receive sexualness, sexual energy um, from that kind of body? Um, and it was actually really intriguing for me because I kind of just, like, briefly did that. And it was like, oh, it's actually kind of sweet. Like, but I suppose it was the picture that I saw and it was the person that was in that picture. I was like, oh, that there's sweetness from the energy of that person. So it wasn't about judging. I'm uh, um, going, well, I don't think that'll do anything for me. Like you can try and put it in, but I won't feel it because really I've only just started to feel quite honestly, I've only literally just started to feel my vagina in the last two years, probably. Um, and internally like I really had no sensation it was kind of like a dead zone for a number of years like about 15 years um and um though I had great sensations growing up it was just um that I didn't have that after my mid-20s and so it's like the life force in my vagina is coming back to life and I'm like woohoo so you know, I had a lot of, I probably even two or three years ago would have looked at a micro penis and went, but that's, I am not even going to feel it. And it was more about my judgment about what I could sense or feel than it was about the size of their body. It wasn't like, oh my God, that's really small. It was like, I don't think I'm going to feel anything. If I can't feel anything when there's something like the size of a large zucchini going in, like, I don't know what I'm going to feel. So uh, it was actually like kind of nice. And I investigated more and came up with a lot more information. And I will share that with you guys after break, but I've got another minute to talk. So um, the micro penis, and then I was like, okay, what about micro breasts? So I, I investigated the micro breasts as well called micromastia. And of course there's the averages. And then although with, with that micro penis, they give you very specific information about how you would be classified as having a micro penis. Um, and one of them is that, you and it's kind of an obscure way to describe it. The common criterion, according to Wikipedia, is the dorsal, the measured on top, erect penile length, is at least two and a half standard deviations smaller than the mean human penis. And so they're going with different ages at different uh, ages and different, um, according to different cultures and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, they say that that is usually recognized shortly after birth, and you can actually tell um, from the way if you actually stretch a penis in a baby 
um, and you don't do it rough, but you can kind of tell if the person will actually have micro penis when they're uh, fully grown. So it only occurs in about 0.6% of males, which is pretty um, amazing. So when we come back, though, from break, I would I'm going to explore more about the micro and macros of body parts that um, have a lot of judgment. So uh, I'm totally looking forward to you guys joining me when we come back from break. Many of us have created a lot of limitations around sex and what we are willing to choose. Would you be willing to explore what has already been introduced as sexual practices on this planet? What else is possible beyond what we have already seen, heard, or thought of? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual revolution? Taking the taboo out of all aspects of sex, sexuality, and copulation. By tuning into The Pleasure Zone radio show, with body whisperer Melitza Yelenich, you'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Melitza every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on A2Zen.fm. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a bar session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? What does optimal cell health mean, and how can you create it? Pulsed electromagnetic field therapy by Swiss Bionics can improve your well-being in every area of your life. The PEMF mat stimulates cells to move and create space between cells for optimal cell function. How does it get better than that? Use two to three times per day for eight minutes will improve circulation and immune function. Cell metabolism and repair begins, and mobility also will increase. Do you desire better health? If you're interested or would like a session, call 613-473-3805 or in Toronto. Call or text 416-253-1617. Monthly rentals start at only $300 per month. Is now the time to choose Optimal Cell Health? This is The Pleasure Zone with body whisperer Melitza Yelenich. To participate in the program today, please call us in the U.S. Call 815-880-8255-TALK or Canada 613-800-8736 or you can Skype us at A2Zen.fm. You can also make the choice to ask for comment by email by sending to Melitza at MelitzaYelenich.com. Now back to the program. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Pleasure Zone. And today, the topic is, does size matter? So I hear this a lot, and actually, it was inspired by two things, and I come to think about it. Um, I had a beautiful text that was sent to me. I, I get Sometimes I get the most amazing um, emails and texts from people who have listened to the show. And one of them was a, a really sweet, kind um, text. And one of the questions on the text was, does size matter? And and quite honestly, it doesn't to me. Um, I was just really curious because I'd never actually uh, witnessed firsthand um, a micro penis. So I was like, hmm, this is all a very big curiosity to me. So one of the things that I was kind of like um, exploring is like, really, what do we make so significant about size, like size of anything that actually stops us from receiving? So everywhere that you've made certain things ultra significant and you won't receive from anything but that, 
like you have a cap like I will not go for this because it's only five inches not seven and a half to ten like what if there's a kindness in a body that has no irrelevance to size whatsoever um, that you can be a kindness to the body that will actually allow that body to um, change if it would like to so how many judgments do we put on bodies when we see them and go wow those are really small boobs or and how much are we seeing and reading that that person's mind and all the judgments they've had placed on them for so long that they're just like spouting in their brain constantly running around like a gerbil in a wheel and what if we could just take that gerbil off the wheel for a second and go wow okay so what's really going on here here because a lot of the times it's just like voices in our head and then if we can step out of that and start to kind of like look at it with greater kindness and pock and pot all judgments if you don't know what pock and potting is check out um, access consciousness clearing statement dot com or the clearing statement dot com and um, you'll find out what the pock and potting right round good bad the pot online shorts boys and beyonds is um, so it's like when you have a judgment you can go pock and pod that and it will start to clear and judgments are everything that you think is right and everything that you think is wrong and it's that polarity of like big and small and like we we have these um, and what if like all of that is mutable our bodies are completely and totally mutable i know that i personally have mutated my bum to be like two sizes or two inches bigger than it was last year um and and actually my body's really enjoying having a bigger bum and i wonder if it would like to change some more or if it would like to change size or and so and what if it's just really enjoying now and what I, what it is? So through this investigation of like what's normal and all the significances we place around normalcy, I really get how much labeling things um, can can really put um, can both create awareness in some ways and go, oh, okay, that's interesting. I could be labeled this and what else is possible because at the same time if you buy that as your limitation you're going to create more limitations around it so if you are listening and you happen to be uh, have a body that has a micro penis if you are listening and you happen to have a body that has a macro penis if you're listening and your body happens to have micro mastia or macro mastia so those are where breasts are smaller than normal or larger than normal so like we have so many judgments especially uh, these outwardly visible things um, often don't hear a lot of judgments about, well, she has a really big vagina. Like, you don't often hear that. Uh, you know, you might hear, oh, she's really tight or she's really this or really wet. But you don't often hear it as, like, lengths and the girth that it can withstand, you know, like, wow, it could just take on a watermelon like that usually isn't something somebody goes yay about and you're like wow um and there's a judgment about it so in some ways it's like we've made some things can be big and some things it's not so cool to be big and some things it's not so cool to be small in other areas it's like ooh, that's really cool to be small so everywhere we've judged size as if it really matters can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a godzillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And I guess for me, as I was reading about, um, you know, these topics like micromastia, I started going into a lot of judgment of me. And it's really funny. Like, I pick these topics. And then, um, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm doing research. And I'm like, okay, well, if there's a word for small penis, there's a word for small breast. For sure, it's got to be micro breast. But it's micromastia. That's more proper terminology. Um, which, again, is like the underdevelopment of a woman's breast tissue. Um just as you can define normal breast size, there's no objective definition of micromastia. So breast development is commonly asymmetrical. Um, this is all according to Wikipedia. And one or both breasts may be small. So this condition may be a congenital defect associated with underlying abnormalities of the pectoral muscle. So there are actually, um, I learned a lot on this one, there are actually um, people who are born without the tissue under their breasts like pectoral muscles um, so their breasts don't have that uh, muscly 
look to the, like they don't they can't develop the same way so what if uh, none of that is the disorder like what if what's going on with these bodies we have created them we have chosen these bodies and what if in choosing these bodies there are gifts these bodies have that we haven't acknowledged so what gift is your body that you haven't acknowledged that you haven't really played around with that you haven't even considered um as a gift like for me um as i was reading these uh reports about you know what women think of men with micro with micro phalluses micro penises um and there was so much judgment in a lot of the people's universes i i was like wow um you know like what if what if like one of the women was like well the guy you know you he would you would think he would at least make up for his penis size by being better at oral skills it's kind of like wow that's an interesting judgment what if um you can't receive shot and like what if it comes down to what are you willing to receive and not receive and it's not even that i knew this man just like and i was taking up some kind of I don't know. I was in total resistance and reaction, which was really hilarious. I just wanted to defend all the men with small penises of the world. Uh, and I was curious at the same time. So, um, and I, and I do actually remember listening to, oh, it was this like, it was Howard Stern back in like 1997 or something. And he had this fellow come on uh, who had, who had a my penis and um this guy ended up being in all kinds of pornography and getting pretty famous for it for having a really small penis so what gift can that be and you know what if you do have skills in other areas so some of the other women reported that um that men were making up for it in other areas as if there was something to made up for i was like wow that's interesting like they have to make up for their their whatever and and i wonder like well that's interesting am i trying my darndest in life to make up for breast size so i try and be so ultra good at everything else in the bedroom that it makes up for breast size that it won't be judged that i'll be like chosen to like play with because well at least she's really good at blowjobs and it you know she can ride me all night long but those breasts are pretty darn small, but that's okay. She's got stuff in other areas. Like there is, you know, I wonder like if there was a website where men were talking about this, what would they actually say? And seriously, how hurtful is any of that? Like what if the person is a gift? Like what if those bodies are such a gift and can you receive from them? Like, will you please, and please start receiving from your own bodies. Um, just to have I've just like started to have such a great appreciation and acknowledgement of my breasts that fed my daughter for four years, literally like I nursed for four years, and you know and and the you know the gift that my magical nipples are like I'm so grateful that I have sensations in them like that most people have in their clitorises, so it's like I have three clitorises, and not every woman has sensations like that, so I feel pretty um like I just acknowledge like how magic they are in that way. So you know, how many people are not acknowledging the magic that their body is or maybe you don't even know that your body has that magic. So what if you play around with it and see like, oh, okay, so if you have micro penis, what gift are you? Maybe you also have nipples that are like magical little penises and like what if they can be stimulated like crazy? So, and how many of you think you, um, to my producer, how many of you never even thought that your body is magic? Like, wh- our bodies are magic, guys. They are, and they can change, and they can shift, and they can gift, and they can receive. And our molecules, just the fact that we exist on this planet is freaking mad. The fact that we have water molecules and that we're composed of 75% water is freaking amazing. And if you don't really get the magic of water, please like look up, you know, all the information you can get on just even the bonding of the molecules to create 
water. It's phenomenal. We are so incredible and our bodies are so incredible and they're so aware. And if we just listen to them, they would be so happy we are listening to them and they would communicate with us and they'd be like, hey, thank you for showing up. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for honoring me. Thank you for touching me. Thank you for acknowledging me. Thank you for not judging me for once. Oh my God. Like, how many times do we go into this insane, insane judgment of our bodies? So as we go to break, I ask all of you to just acknowledge one part of your body that you've been avoiding and you haven't gifted acknowledgement and kindness to. And while we're on break, just gift acknowledgement and kindness to that body part and let's see what energy we can shift um, in those like next minute or two. And now we're going to head off to break. Many of us have created a lot of limitations around sex and what we are willing to choose. Would you be willing to explore what has already been introduced as sexual practices on this planet? What else is possible beyond what we have already seen, heard, or thought of? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual revolution? Taking the taboo out of all aspects of sex, sexuality, and copulation. By tuning into The Pleasure Zone radio show with body whisperer Melitza Yelenich, you'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Melitza every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on A2Zen.fm. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness, a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a Bars session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a Bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? What does optimal cell health mean? And how can you create it? Pulsed electromagnetic field therapy by Swiss Bionics can improve your well-being in every area of your life. The PEMF mat stimulates cells to move and create space between cells for optimal cell function. How does it get better than that? Use two to three times per day for eight minutes will improve circulation and immune function. Cell metabolism and repair begins, and mobility also will increase. Do you desire better health? If you're interested or would like a session, call 613-473-3805 or in Toronto. Call or text 416-253-1617. Monthly rentals start at only $300 per month. Is now the time to choose Optimal Cell Health? This is The Pleasure Zone with body whisperer Melitza Yelenich. To participate in the program today, please call us in the U.S. Call 815-880-8255-TALK or Canada, 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us at a2zen.fm. You can also make the choice to ask for comment by email by sending to Melitza at melitzayelenich.com. Now, back to the program. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Pleasure Zone. I'm your host, Melitza Yelenich. And if you were with me just before break, you might have heard um, had a little suggestion for everyone as we were on break to uh, find a body part that they have a lot of judgment about and just start to acknowledge it, start to be present with it and start to receive from it. Um, so actually acknowledging it is where you actually start to receive from it, being present with it. Part of acknowledging it is that you are starting to become more present with it and as you are more present with it, you start to receive more from it. 
So before we went to break, I went to my boobs because I talk about them a lot and, and have had a lot of judgment about them. Um, and as I was just acknowledging them and just like acknowledging the gift they be to me, acknowledging um, the beauty that they be there, you know, like I look at them in the mirror, I'm like, oh, they're so pretty. And, and at the same time, there's like this, um, every once in a while I hear, and they're so small. And it's like, okay, what that, like everything that is, what if we can destroy and uncreate everywhere that there's like a judgment of the size of something like, oh yeah, I'm so grateful, but, so all the buts you have attached to the gratitude that negates the gratitude, can we destroy and uncreate all that times a godzillion? I like your buts, but the ones you sit on, not the ones where you're negating yourself, because, you know, me and bums, so... um I would like to just like everywhere that you went into that place of, yeah, 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 I'm really present. Oh, there's like stuff that comes into your universe. Just check like whose is that for one? How aware are you? Um, and, you know, how aware are you of society's normal that you are just going, oh, but I'm not normal. And so like you are not normal. Are you okay with that? None of us are normal. Um, nobody probably that listens to this show is normal. Thank you for not being normal. I love all of you for being total weirdos. And I am a total weirdo. And really, listen to my episodes on these shows. You'll get how much of a weirdo I am. And I'm so grateful for all of you listening, because you might be just a little bit weirdo too. So would you be willing to like utilize your weird of you and to have great really great be grateful for that and have gratitude for that too so i know uh for me my body just started to tingle like my boobs were like hey thank you so really like my challenge to all of you this week is to find that body part that you've been judging the heck out of or the size of it, especially, um, being does this size matter? If so, if you've been judging it as too big, too small, um, not quite the right shape, even we'll go with that. Like, can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a godzillion? And right, wrong, bad, pot all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And please look at your body as the gift it is and all of the wonderful things that it's given you. So, if you do have a micro penis, if you have a macro penis, if you have an average penis, can you acknowledge the beauty of it? Like, please, like, sit with it, acknowledge it, love it, just like be really present with it. Um, and I'm, I so get the energy of such sweetness going out there to bodies, and I'm so grateful for all of you that are like willing to actually follow my crazy instructions and go, yeah, please acknowledge your body parts. If you are even putting your hands down your pants, like, thank you. Like, thank you for acknowledging your body. Thank you for touching it. Thank you for being present with it. Thank you for all of those things that we have been told are so weird and wrong. Thank you for doing all of that for you as a gift to you, as a gift to your body so that your body can receive even more so that you can receive even more in all areas of your life. If you know, if you have a judgment of your body size and you've been, you know, using that to shut off business, you've been using that to shut off receiving lover or kindness because you could never receive from somebody because you think you're not, you know, the right size boobs or the right size bum or like all that junk or you're judging your belly or you're judging the size of your calves or the size of your arm muscles or the size of the nose. Like, guys, please take these body parts and does size matter? Hell no, it doesn't freaking matter because everything we make significant, we lock in. And we cannot change it. So I'm asking you now to please make none of this significant. Please acknowledge your body. Please be grateful for it, everywhere that you've made things super significant. To start just like everything that is a distractor in there that's like shame and blame and guilt and oh, and like all this stuff that's distracting you from receiving your body. Please destroy and uncreate all of it now. Times a godzillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyond. And if any of you are listening today and you feel a little woozy after this call, some things might have shifted in your universe. They might have. They might not have. Um, and if you do find that you have an awful lot of judgment of your body still, I've been there. I've had judgment of my body. I'm now like enjoying my body more than ever. Um, as my lover was saying to me uh, just this morning, he was 
you know, I was like getting dressed and I was putting on a bra and he's like, your boobies are so sad. Free the boobies. They want to come out. I'm like, you're so awesome. Apparently my boobies just want to be freed. He's like a booby whisperer and he's been listening to them. Apparently they just want to be freed, walking around in tank tops, showing off the nipples to the world. So like he's such a riot. So where are you avoiding receiving all the stares and glares because you think it's a judgment of a wrongness of you when actually it might be like, ooh, that's yummy. Um, so I mentioned it and I, and I said to my lover, well, I feel really awkward. Like my nipples are going to like poke your eyeballs out. He's like, oh my God, that's so attractive. Just like we could get deals on stuff if you go into stores and show them off. And I'm like, you must be insane. It's not attractive. They're not big. And he's like, you are insane. You don't get that these things are an asset. So, you know, he's been diligently working on me for this for like two years. <laughs> going, please love them. Please, I love them. Will you love them? And it's like I heard something the other day, and it really kind of got me in a way. It was interesting. My f uh, friend Daria, who's been on this show, said it on uh, one of her calls or somewhere, maybe I was just talking to her, I have no idea. Um, but she was saying how she was with somebody, um, and he acknowledged that he actually, like, that she, that as much as she might like herself, he actually, she couldn't receive him so much because he liked her more than she liked her, which was kind of a bit of a wake-up call for her. So she started to acknowledge that she wasn't even liking herself all that much, and that this other person liked her way more. And I was like, thank you. Ding, 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 ding. I'm choosing to be aware of that everywhere that I'm going into pathetic and bleh, where I could just be like, thank you. And thank you for the gift that I've chosen is like, you know, the, my lover that I have now who's like really willing to be present with me and like willing to acknowledge my body and, um, and a I totally get that he contributed to my bum growing because he absolutely adores it. So, um, you know, whatever you folk put attention on, put energy on, it expands. And guess what? That includes bums. So, you know, when we talk about that, if you, if you, you know, are thinking in judgment of a body part and all you're thinking about is, ugh, this, ugh, that, ugh, this, oh, it's so big, oh, it's so big, oh, it's, you're putting the energy of, oh, it's big onto it. And your body's going, oh, it's so big. It, it's not getting the, ugh, it's so big. It's getting the, oh, it's so big. And guess what? It will gift you more, and it will gift you more, and it will gift you more. Because it doesn't get the judgment part. It's just answering the call of the wild. So for me, when I was going, ugh, they're so small. Ugh, they're so small. Ugh, they're, I swear my boobs are smaller. Um, so now it's like, oh, I adore you. Oh, I acknowledge you. Thank you for everything that you are to me and be to me and and how pretty you are and how much, you know, you've like contributed to people choosing me to be a lover. Like I didn't even, I just figured they were choosing me for my sweet bum, but I had no idea that even, you know, my boobies could get chosen to be sweet lover too, which is really sweet. So for, you know, guys and gals, like if you are judging the crap out of your body and going, but I wish they were smaller. I wish this was smaller. And what if the person that's choosing to be with you absolutely adores your body? Adores your body so much that it's like, I want to show it off to the world. Not only would I like to show it off to the world, let's see what we can get for that beautiful body of yours. Maybe we can get deals at the shopping mall. Maybe we can get deals on furniture. Let's take that beautiful body and utilize it. I'm like, I love that I could be used to get deals. I never thought that I had that. And it's such a such a gift to be like, yeah, I can use, utilize my body to get deals on all kinds of things. Like I didn't even think my body was one of those bodies that could do that. I would look at other bodies and go, oh, yeah, that body could get money. And I wouldn't be like, oh, this body could get money. Um, this body does get money. Do you get that every time you work at anything and you get a paycheck, or you get cash in hand, you get your PayPal link money paid to you, that is your body receiving money. Can you acknowledge the amazingness of your body and your body receiving money? Your body is that freaking cool and awesome. So please acknowledge how freaking awesome it is and that every time money comes in, 
It is your body that's getting that money. It's not your being. Your being doesn't require the money. It is your body. And every time you acknowledge that your body's brought you money, please say thank you, body, for that cash. And your body will bring you more cash because that's what bodies are awesome. They love to be acknowledged and they love to have luxury. I don't actually know anybody that doesn't like luxury and find yummy things to eat and play with. You know, you can say you're simple, but the tr truth, truth. If you were presented with something absolutely luxurious to lie on, would your body just melt and go, wow, thank you? So please acknowledge it. Acknowledge the awesomeness that is your body. And and I would love to hear from any of you that are actually playing with that, acknowledging your body parts and seeing how that's like contributing to greater ease for you and contributing to change in your life and how that's actually increasing your money flows. So please do write to me. I love hearing from you guys. I love texts and I love like my Facebook messages from you guys and letters. And it's like every time I get one, I feel like, yay, I'm actually contributing to the planet. Like, you don't know how many times I actually forget that I'm contributing to the planet. And if any of you think you're not contributing to the planet, I just want you to know that every single one of you listening to this show is so contributing to me and my life. And I'm so grateful for you. Every time I see like a number come up that says it's listen to my radio show, I'm so grateful for that. I'm like, yay, 20 views. Yay, 595 views. Yay, 900. It's like, thank you. Thank you for like, how lucky am I that you guys are actually saying yes to me, yes to you, yes to your bodies. And instead of going, oh, no, you're so small, you're so this. And like, oh, wow. So we all have those things in our universes. And what if they're not yours? What if none of that matters? What if none of that's significant? Where are your gifts and your talents? So what some of these women were saying about micro penises and were like, well, at least he makes up for it in other areas. What if it's not about making up for anything? What are your gifts and talents? What if you have amazing oral skills? If you have amazing, phenomenal oral skills, guys and gals, and you know, you have like some kind of crazy talent with your fingers that can make a person come in like two and a half seconds flat because you're that freaking awesome. What if it's not a wrongness of the body? that you're touching that just came into an after seconds, like it was a uh, premature ejaculation. What if it's like, wow, what gift are you to that body that it was just like so explosively expansive in that so fast? What if that's a gift? I actually often feel like completely complimented when it's like, wow, I just had sex in 15 minutes. That was awesome. I am that awesome that a guy would come on me in like 15 minutes. I'm so grateful. And it's funny, like, it's kind of funny. I mean, I'm sure there are people who are like, well, you know, it should be like an hour. I'm like, woohoo, I'm that awesome that that body responded to my body. Like, what if we can all be, so when I say that magic, it's like, who are you? Who do you be that's super, super, um, like, special? I don't know the other word for it, but where are you? Oh, I think I just lost you guys. I'm sorry. I probably just chucked out the airwaves somewhere. So where are you a gift that you didn't even know? Do you have super awesome oral skills? Please use them. Explore them. What if you have oral skills that nobody else ever knew? Micro penises. Like if your penis is just not like stimulating a woman's vagina, what can it stimulate? What is it fun to receive oral from a woman? I actually got super curious about, like, what would it be like to gift oral sex to a man who has a micropenis? I'm, like, so curious about micropenises now. It's hilarious. So um, I've had macropenises in my life, but the micropenis fascinates me. So, and I should say, and it fascinates me because it does. And so I'm also wondering um, if you do have these you know, body parts that are smaller. Like, what if you do have a micro penis? Are you willing to um, find a way to, like, have amazing skills for anal sex? Because if you are, what a gift are you to all the women who are choosing that? And so many women actually receive phenomenal orgasms through anal sex rather than through vaginal intercourse. So would you choose that? Like, would you choose to explore all of those areas of your life that you haven't even ever considered, or you kind of thought were weird or you judged? But I've actually heard um, one of our teachers, and I won't name him, so I don't want to get him in trouble. Um, 
that he he was actually talking to some men about their judgments about penis size, and he said, well, if you have a smaller penis, what if you're really great at oral sex, and what if you are really great at anal sex, and just kind of say, look, my penis is a little smaller, but I'm just wondering, and I'm really great at anal sex, would you like to try that out with me? Because uh, just speaking from experience, it's not always the greatest choice to pick the ten and a half inch penis to stick in your anus, just like something to consider, but um, not necessarily on your first try, right? So would you be willing to like explore different areas with people who have different sized body parts that maybe you were judging? Um, and if you see one, please like I can pod all of your judgments of that body before you do anything with it. So if you are kind of going to like, oh, that's a really small penis, please Please, pock and pause all your judgments of all the body sizes and all the body parts, um, even that they're being like, oh, it's the perfect size. Like, please pock and pause all your judgments of all of that, because really it's such a gift to be space for bodies and such a gift to be space um, in a way that you're not judging the person while you're with them. So um, I, I just ask that as kindness to the bodies on the planet. We could all use more kindness, right? And we could all use less judgment pock and pot all your shit about yourself too and please um th so like women if you do have the judgment about smaller boobs bigger boobs whatever like what if you have positions um in intercourse that can be so much so women with extra big boobs like how much fun is it to have your boobs like hanging in the guy's face i don't know how fun is it and for women with small boobs, like what positions can you take that are totally alluring to the men that are going, wow, like look at those nipples. They're like just shining in the sun. Like we, all our bodies, we chose them and we created them. And what gift can they be? And like how much fun and play can you have with movement and positions that um, will actually uh, accentuate your body parts to make them even more uh, interesting, playful, and fun for you and for your partner. So I'm so grateful for all of you if I haven't said that a million times already today. And I just want all of you to really get, like, we created our bodies. We chose them. Please be grateful for them. Try that exercise once in a while if you have a judgment about your body. And just start to, like, even just touch your body, acknowledge it. Listen to that episode I did last year called Fun for One using all your senses uh, to kind of uh, get through the judgments of all of the senses too, like what your body smells like, tastes like, you know, all that stuff. Like we have so many judgments. So um, size, does size matter? What's the verdict, everyone? No, it doesn't. That's what I have now decided. No, it's not a decision. It's an awareness. Size does not matter. There's so much energetic um energetic communication between bodies is so intense that if we started to listen to it, we would get that really size doesn't matter. And also that the energetic communication between bodies can be such a gift to receiving more in areas that you, you didn't even know that your body could be turned on and excited by. Um, even just slight touch, like what if, you know, somebody with a micro penis just slightly touches your bum with it, like, oh my God, it could be really yummy and delicious. Now I'm having ideas and just getting excited. Um, so for any of you who would uh, like to come listen next week to a super controversial show with Melanie Clampett, I would love to have you guys come and listen. Um, please come on live if you have questions, if you've had miscarriages or abortions and would like facilitation with that. Um, please join us and uh, find me on my website www.melitzajelenic.com that's www.m-i-l-i-c-a-j-e-l-e-n-i-c.com thank you so much for listening thank you for choosing to listen to The Pleasure Zone Melitza Yelenich will return next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time 7 p.m. Central 6 p.m. Mountain and 5 p.m. Pacific on a2zen.fm we hope you'll join us. Until then, have the best week of your life by choosing to be turned on and tuned in to your body.